Alrighty, so test three is done. And I also had to do my E steps in order to get it to look really nice. It's not perfect, you can still see the layer lines, but I'm getting it dialed in. So yeah, let's remove these. Alrighty. Just got everything removed and the quality is a lot better. It's not perfect, but once I actually print it from this to this, it'll be a lot better. But right now I'm just rapidly prototyping so I don't need to put supports in the middle. But it came out better than the last gen, so that's pretty good. So yeah, let's test it out. Alrighty, just put these on and they are way much nicer now. They fit really nicely. I have some, I have my mobility where I need it. And they actually stay on, like obviously if I, they'll just fall off like that. But yeah, let's give it a test with the wrist and the forearm. Alrighty, I, I kind of forgot to put on the forearm in the hindsight of putting this thing back on, but yeah! Fits a lot better. Uh, I definitely need to do that foam thing for... I have to just shift this up a little bit. And I think I should just probably just pinch out the hand topper. That way it covers up the knuckles here. Middle finger is just a little rattly, but overall, thumb is a lot better now. Pinky feels just a little alright. But overall, we're getting really close to getting a perfect fit. So yeah, stay tuned for part 4.